Hey guys, this is Peter, and today I'm taking a look at the Barrel AX. It's a new router, portable router, from uh, GLINet, and it is really a cool thing. You're going to want one of these, and let me tell you why. This little device will make you a network hero because there's so many different ad hoc networks you can create with it, and they're all easy to do. It's incredibly powerful. Now, why do you need such a thing? Well, a lot of times people will go into a hotel, a convention center, a university, and use the public Wi-Fi. What they really want is not Wi-Fi. What they really want is the internet. But Wi-Fi isn't the internet. Wi-Fi is a wireless network. And the problem with a wireless network is you have peers. So if you're in Starbucks, if you're in McDonald's, if you're in a hotel and you're using public Wi-Fi, any savvy user can sniff all the traffic and see what you're doing and you're not safe. What this little box can do is it can take that connection and rebroadcast it however you want. If you have a wireless connection, like Wi-Fi, it can take that and rebroadcast it, making your own network. That is secure. In fact, it has some plugins like a DNS and a VPN. And I made it so I flip a switch and boom, it has an internal VPN and everything is going to be supported by it. Now you're thinking, well, I can already share things with my phone and that kind of works. You could take that tethered phone, plug it into here, and now you could support up to 70 devices with your own network and your own peers. If you were in a co-working space and you took their ethernet drop, plugged it in here, made your own network, you could have peers, you could share data, you could print, you could you can plug in a drive to this and share the disk space. In fact, it has VPN client, dynamic DNS, network storage, and so many cool ways to share that, uh, share that I'm going to show it. Tor anonymity, ad guard, parental controls, great plugins, fantastic software. This is all built on top of OpenWRT, which is like the best firmware. Everyone that's trying to make their, the ultimate, uh, the ultimate access point is trying to get one with WRT on it. And OpenWRT is excellent. They took it one step further and put a skin over it that makes it easy to use. All you have to do is click on the icon saying, I have a wired connection and I want to make it wireless. Or I have a wireless connection and I want to make it wireless. And you can click on the WAN port if you want to make it a LAN port. You'd want to do that if you had were repeating a wireless network. So again, you can make a network and have somebody else's public internet and totally be safe. I love that. My son's going to go back to the university and they have a wired drop in their house. Well, this would allow them to make it into it, their own network. The benefit of that is you can now use wired and wireless devices on your own network so he can use his Amazon Echo. He can use his Fire Stick. Huh, you couldn't do that before. He could have a printer and share it with his roommates. Perfect. You can also have wired storage. If you had a co-working space, you could set up a mobile office with this thing. Absolutely amazing. If you go to a hotel room and they have a wired drop, you can now protect it and rebroadcast it and sit on the bed with your phone or your tablet and know you can trade stocks because your traffic is fully encrypted. Beautiful little device. Definitely need one of these in your tool kit because it is cool. So it's an access point. It's a repeater. It allows you to tether. You can even plug in a USB modem and you can share that with a group of people. Fantastic. Up to 70 devices. It supports all these different uh, VPNs. I used it with, with my own... Um, with my IP Vanish, I have an IP Vanish account. I was able to download OpenVPN on that. And guess what? I set it up so there's a little switch on the side. When I flip the switch, it connects to San Jose over VPN. Every device will be protected. Too cool. I love this little device. I've loved all their products. Hey, take a look right here. Uh, this is the this is the Barrel AX or the MT3000. I've also reviewed the Barrel, and I love that. And people chimed in and commented and saying, "You're right. This is incredibly well made, well supported." Uh, I actually just upgraded the firmware on it. I did have also have the Spitz, and I'm going to ask publicly, please send me the Spitz AX. That looks amazing. All of these products are fantastic because it allows you to do what you want. If you have a legacy equipment that doesn't have Wi-Fi, guess what? You can give it Wi-Fi with one of these devices. Uh, there's just an endless amount. If you have T-Mobile Home Internet, that is a great service, but a crummy gateway. 
I do like the modem that's in it because it aggregates the two frequencies and gives you up improved performance. But the access point in that is terrible. This would fix it. Just plug it in here, rebroadcast your own network, and you'd have the speed of T-Mobile with a fixed network that is much, much better. Uh, oh, this is so great for the Road Warrior. Let me click it down here. It understands that there's different Wi-Fi in different countries and will dynamically allow you to fix that. I love that. Oh, it runs over a USB Type-C, which means that it will be perfect for mobile applications. If you got a boat, if you have, this would be fantastic. You could run it in a campground, in a camper. It also allows you to judge, uh, to adjust the transmission sp uh, distance uh, so you're not blasting yourself. When you're a camper, you don't want to be hit with the fullest Wi-Fi of all time. You want it to be mellow, and you can set that up. And this is just a well thought out, very well done product. I gotta say, I'm a huge fan, and uh, let me show you how it works. All right, so let me just clear up one little fallacy that a lot of people uh, run across, and I totally understand why. A network is totally different than the internet. So this helps you set up ad hoc networks. You can have a network, a wireless network, even without the internet, and that's called an air-gapped environment. But you can also have, uh, as you know, you can have the internet without ha really having a network, and that's where our cell phones, when we're outside of, when we're just outside, right? So we're not on a network, but we have the internet. There are a lot of times that you may want, uh, well, to make a little uh, network for yourself. Maybe you're sharing with friends. I think there's a great picture here. Look, up to 70 devices. So this would be perfect for like a small apartment, something like that. Or if you're traveling, if you're traveling in a, a RV, this would be excellent. Again, this runs off of, it'll run off USB type three. So I could power it with any of my uh, small portable uh, power uh, devices. So it is pretty small, sits right on your desk. And if you're in a hotel room and you have a wired connection, but it's too far away, this not only will make it Wi-Fi, but you can secure it as well. So let's take a look at how to do all those things because it's so easy. This is a really powerful toolkit here. I'm just going to open up my phone. There it is. And what do I have here? There's a VPN. I have network storage. Yeah, it's available. Look, here's my drive. I have half a terabyte attached to this thing and look, I can pull it up and I can choose to share files a ton of different ways. Here, if I wanted to share this file, for example, now let's see, share. And yeah, I've tried this all out. It works pretty darn good. In fact, it looks like I'm sharing it right now. So I should be able on my PC, which is on the same network, to go ahead and find such a thing. There it is. I made a shortcut to it. Look, I can actually drag things to it. Here, I'm gonna grab this icon and just throw it right here. Boof, I'm able to read and write privileges. You can set up all of that. It's so easy. This is, look, allow write access. I just turn that off, boom, that easy. Super easy to do. Let me show you how quickly I can do this. I have two uh, wireless networks set up. I have uh, 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz. They're right there. There is my definitions for VPN client. I've uploaded a couple. It supports most of them. I have one on here that's not even here. I have a uh, IP vanish. IP vanish is good enough to make all of theirs available. Look, I went and grabbed several from San Jose. I can upload them to the router or I can actually just carry them on my phone. It's really just simple to use. So that's how I can take a public Wi-Fi. Yeah. A lot of people say, Hey, do you have a Wi-Fi password? And what they really want is access to the internet. But the problem is that it's not, it's a network. So the people that are in Starbucks or McDonald's with you are able to see your traffic because you're on a network. Now, why would you want a little portable network? Well, suppose you were at a trade show and you had a scanner you wanted to use and it's a network scanner and you wanted to print things out on the printer. You can set up a network. A network without internet again is an air gapped environment but you can actually have internet as well at a trade show. You could have whole thing together. So not just, not just Wi-Fi, but uh, internet access as well. Look, so I have network storage. So the parental controls on this is really cool. I can set it up by kid. I can put time schedules. I can uh, disallow certain sites and they do have ad guard on there as well. I'm still playing with this. You can see the only two things on my network right now are me and my computer that I'm shooting this on but I have put a ton of devices on here. I went ahead and just 
ran all sorts of things. This is really a fast little network. So you, you look, you could make a remote office. So I mentioned that if you were in a, well, a co-working office space, you could take their public Wi-Fi, secure it using a VPN and create a network. So you and your colleagues could, well, uh, interact with one another, share printers, share storage, and it would just be great. It's pretty easy. So what I like is carrying this on the road because it is so simple to use. All right, first off, how do I want to connect to the internet? Right now, I plugged in an Ethernet cable, and I set up the uh, the WAN port as a WAN port, and now I'm distributing it or repeating it with Wi-Fi. Uh, I actually have two connections to the internet right now. Here, I, whoops, multi-WAN. Multi-WAN shows that I have both a repeater grabbing my wireless in my house as well as the Ethernet. And yeah, you can make one fail over on the other. It's all sorts of different things you can do. But look, I can also tether, and I have tested this out. You turn on tethering mode of your phone. Here, if you don't know where it is, because all phones are a little bit different, right? You can search for it. Click on the magnifying glass and type in USB tethering, perfect. I'm just gonna click on that, go to hotspot hot settings. I can turn on mobile hotspot, no. Bluetooth tethering, I want USB tethering. It's not, so it's, it's grayed out because I don't have the cable plugged in, but you get the idea. It does work, I have tested it out. Uh, I, the only thing I haven't tested out is can you plug in USB hub and both have a network drive and USB tethering at the same time? I bet you could. They work so neat because they're so easy. Home, internet, pick your kind of internet that you want. I'm gonna pick ethernet. And of course it found my, all of that and I choose how I want to share it. It's going to share it wirelessly over these two networks, but I can also unplug that, turn my WAN port into a second LAN port and share the wireless internet that I have here. I can share that wireless internet connection with my new network. So if you're at a university and well, there's a network and you have a drop into your room or maybe the Wi-Fi is in your room, but you want to have your own network so you can use your, I don't know, Amazon Fire Stick. You can use your Amazon Echo. You can use all of those things we all love to use, or you can have your printer work wirelessly. Uh, you wouldn't want to put it available on the wider area network that is the entire university, but on your own little network that supports up to 70 devices. That blew me away that it supports so many devices, up to 70, that's fantastic. And look at the speeds on this. Let's go ahead and check some speeds. I am of course connected to it right now both wired and wirelessly. Uh, let's see, let's try it on my phone first. Bing, let's go to speed test and show you that I am getting truly some good speeds. Let's see what I'm gonna get. 30 pings, not terrible. And neither is, come on, go higher. We can do faster. Ah, maybe I'll move my metal cup. <laughs> what did I get? 209, that's not terrible. All righty. And 80 up, that's not bad either. And then of course we can do the same thing over here. 24 ping, that's even better. Yeah, and the scores of this just go off the chart. This is, in, this is a pretty fast NIC card, network interface card. So it gets even better speeds. So that's interesting. Oh, you know what it is? So over my, cause I was like, I've been got better scores than this all day. I did connect to, look, you can see my little, uh, my wireless connection, but I'm also using Wi-Fi to broadcast the screen to this screen. So it's already a full pipe. Cause I was like, I was getting some good scores like that. Why am I not getting them over here? Well, that is indeed what's happening. So trust me, it does work really nicely. I like it a lot. So easy to set up. What else can we do with it? If I had a wired connection that I wanted to share, I simply click here, internet, and then click on ethernet. If I have a wireless connection I wanna share, I click on repeater and then go and set it, up, set it up so it will repeat that network. It'll take that network a connection that it has, which is this, this set of IP addresses, and then it will share it over the wireless connections it just works. This thing is so much fun. It is, it makes you look like a genius because you can solve problems that come up all the time and just whip this thing out and you're off and running. 
Anyway, guys, there it is. It's super easy to use. It has a ton of great plugins. There is a v VPN client built in. There is a dynamic DNS built in. Of course, it supports network storage. We already saw that. And uh, parental controls. Parental co controls are cool. Tor, I haven't worked with. That seems kind of dark web, but uh, AdGuard does look pretty neat. It did sh save me from a couple things. As you can see, it is actively working for me. So, uh, cool little device. I think absolutely everyone needs to have one of these in their toolkit. If you are a mobile person at all, if you are ever on the road and you travel to hotels, convention centers, universities, campgrounds, co-working spaces, you really need to get one of these. It is indeed a really cool device. Anyway, guys, hey, thanks so much for watching and uh, give this thumbs up if you like. I'll put a link to this down below. And well, thank you to GLINet for sending this to me. This is, of course, one of my favorite devices from you guys. <laughs> it's my third one. Anyway, see you in the next one. Talk to you soon.